Hello guys, happy Friday and welcome to day five of the Healthy ha Holiday Challenge. So this is our last day of the challenge. Hooray, you guys have done so great. I'm super excited to see what all you come up with and then I'm really excited to see you actually implement it over the rest of the month. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I do hope it really helps you overall since the whole idea here was to create a plan that would allow you to actually take care of yourself while still enjoying the holidays. And I know um, leading up to this challenge, I was personally really excited to do it because last year I was a total Scrooge. I was really overwhelmed. I had this routine that was working really well for me that was managing my chronic pain. It was managing my chronic fatigue. I was like last year I was doing great. It was a really good year for me um, health wise. Like I finally got pretty much everything sorted out. Um, and then was able to actually start this business based on, um, like having my degree in exercise science, having my corrective exercise specialist certification, having my pre and postnatal coaching certification. Um, and then I had actually been through the experience of creating the healthy life that I'd been after my entire life. Right. Um, but I had that side of things really good and then making time for the holidays just did not happen. I felt like the holidays were going to compete for my time and they were going to jeopardize my ability to maintain everything that I had worked so hard to have. And that led to some really bad attitudes about Christmas and the holidays and the family time. It was not good. So this year, it was my big resolution to make sure that that did not happen and that I had planned things better so that I could not only continue with my health routine, but also enjoy the holidays because deep down I knew like that that had to be possible. And so we are making it possible this year, guys. So... Let me know how you are doing with all of this. Um, today, we're going to refine your plan and finish it up. So um, to recap what all we've been working on, and you can always go back in the group and catch those replays. If you're on the email list, I've been sending out the emails each day, so you should have access to all the videos and whatnot. Um, again, I will post the workbook link. It's on yesterday's video as well. Um, it's in the emails. So um, grab your workbook if you haven't got it yet. Um, but so day one, we started by trying to bring your stress levels down with the big old brain dump. And so you just kind of dumped out everything that you thought you needed to do, you should be doing, that you wanted to do to both take care of yourself and to make the holidays enjoyable. Um, from there, we also created your vision of what does it even look like to take care of yourself during the holiday season? And then what does the holiday season even look like if it's your ideal holiday season, not your I'm doing everything for everyone else and totally frazzled holiday season. So um, you created that vision and then from there we've gone back every single day to check in with that vision to make sure that all the plans that you're doing are really aligned with that vision so that you can actually turn that into a reality. So um, day two, um, we started prioritizing, right? Um, I showed you how to take that big old brain dump and um, I showed you how to break that into like your number one priorities of like you are not taking care of yourself if you're not doing x y and z it is not the holidays if you don't do x y and z um and then the number two priorities were the ones that like you would love to do them it's not the end of the world if you don't though and then number three priorities is like you'll be totally fine living without those this holiday like you may or may not even be disappointed that you don't get time for those um and then using that prioritization, we also took your health and fitness and wellness um, ideas from your brain dump, and I showed you how to break those down into these smaller chunks that would be more doable and fit into your time for the month. So if you had like a big goal, if you were like, I'm not going to be taking care of myself if I don't exercise this month. 
Um, and you, your ideal would be to exercise, say, an hour a day. Um, and then you realize that with everything else on your list, that's just probably not going to be possible. So how can you simplify that so it's doable, but so that you still feel like you have taken care of yourself, that you have at least prioritized that goal. And so um, like breaking it down. So your number three priority would be getting an hour every single day to exercise because at the end of the day, you will survive if you don't exercise for an hour a day. Maybe you would like to exercise half an hour a day. Um, but again, you'll still survive if you don't. And so if you simplify it down more and you get to say, I will either do 15 minutes of exercise every day, or I will make a goal of 30 minutes of exercise three times a week. That's simple enough that it's realistic. It'll fit into your time. You can schedule time for it. Um, and it's enough that you feel like you have taken care of yourself by working on that goal but you've made it realistic, so yay. So we prioritized on day two. Um, and then on day three, um, we went over, <laughs> sorry, my brain is going off again. Day three, we went over all the different strategies that you could use to take care of yourself. Um, so day two, I believe we also, golly, my brain's not with it today, sorry guys. Um, but so yeah, we broke down what strategies you wanted to use to actually take care of yourself, kind of what your goals are, um, which we then actually wrote out your goals yesterday. There we go. Um, so you prioritized on day two. We went over the strategies that you can use to take care of yourself to really make sure that you're supporting those four pillars of a healthy lifestyle, your movement, your nourishment, your rest, and your stress management. Um, that way you have like this whole beautiful list of ideas for how you can take care of yourself this holiday season. And I love that list because it's got all these things on it that people don't usually think of as like taking care of themselves um, or or they recognize that it's, it's self-care in a way, but they don't think it's that effective when it actually is. Um, so that's why I love going over that list with people. Um, so that way too, you can recognize like, which of the four pillars might need more attention from you this month? Um, or if you are wanting to work on a couple different pillars, you got to see how, say, working on rest, um, you can actually simultaneously be working on movement and nourishment and stress management while working on rest. Like they all play together, which is great. So it makes it a little easier for you to pick like the couple of habits or the couple of strategies that address all four pillars. So it's kind of getting you the most bang for your buck, right? Um, so on day three, you picked out those main strategies that really spoke to you the most that you thought would be best for yourself for this month. And then on day four, we went through and I had you kind of review everything and then write down some specific goals for what you would like to have accomplished by the end of the month. Um, so we were setting those, those specific, measurable, attainable, um, realistic, slash relevant. I didn't mention that, that was the one I forgot, was that it needs to be relevant. So if your goal, um, or if you're saying that your goal is um, like achieving your ideal weight, and then you've picked, um, well, I don't know if that's a good idea because um, any of those lifestyle habits are actually going to ultimately help you achieve your um, your goal weight. But so if you have a goal of actually doing strength training and say improving your numbers on, a, on an exercise or um, being able to do a, a certain amount of walking, like you wanna be able to walk or run a certain distance. Um, and then all of the... Um, goals that you're, all of the strategies that you're using to get there are things like, um, you know, drinking more water or getting more sleep or you're going to do your weekly planning. Those, like, they'll indirectly get you to your mileage goal, but they're not really the most direct path. They're not as relevant to that big goal as it could be. Um, so like a better goal would be to say, I'm going to get out X number of days a week and do this 
distance each day, right? Um, and then those goals also need to be time-based, which since you're setting goals for the month, that kind of gives you that time base. So like you're going to do this each week. You're going to do X amount each week, right? Um, so you got your goals set. Hopefully that vision is probably, it should be pretty strong in your brain at this point since we've been reviewing it every day. Um, so again, before you do the rest of today, go back and review that vision as always. Um, make sure that you are really like really feeling that vision. Like you really know what it feels like physically, mentally, emotionally to create both the holiday that you want as well as how you want to take care of yourself, right? Um, so you really want to make sure that you know how you want to feel physically, mentally, and emotionally so that any taking care of you strategies you're doing are enforcing that. They're making sure that that happens for you as best as possible because we know stuff's going to happen. You're going to get stressed about something and that's okay. Um, but at least you've taken those steps to, to minimize that. Um, and then that way too, any decisions you're making for the holidays, any activities you're planning, boundaries that you're setting, saying no to some things, um, that's all going to make sure that you are creating that sensation, that um, environment for you to enjoy the holidays physically, emotionally, and mentally. So review that vision really quick before you get started on today. You'll need the rest of your book workbook, of course. <clears throat> and then, so here is today's the refine your plan day five so this one looks a whole lot like the other the rough draft one that we did on tuesday i believe yeah tuesday was kind of your reality check day where you were like okay i'm prioritizing stuff and i'll create a rough draft of my schedule so today you get another calendar there's your calendar um same deal as the what tuesday um, but this one has these little boxes right here of your vision and your goals, okay? So they're small boxes, sorry. Probably could have made them bigger, but um, write your condensed version of your vision right here before you get started um, because it helps. So it's great to go back and like reread your vision or rethink about it. Um, but when you actually write it down as often as you can, that really helps you internalize it a lot more. And then you start making subconscious decisions that are more in line with it. Um, so just reflecting on that vision every day. And so this is going to be this sheet you could potentially like hang up wherever you're going to see it every day. Cause this is kind of like your final game plan, right? Um, and so you want that vision to be front and center every day too. All right. And then you can write um, if, like kind of your main goals. And most likely, um, I think most of the holiday goals are going to be ones that kind of like end up scheduled in over here. Um, so this goal section is going to be really good for your taking care of yourself goals since those are going to be the ones that you're most likely to slip up on and to try to kind of deprioritize when, you know, other things get crazy. So make sure you put your taking care of yourself goals right there. And hopefully you only have like one to three of those. You really do want to keep it simple that way you're not overwhelming yourself. Um, so one to three should hopefully fit in there if you condense it. So then... You're going to just go through and I gave you this sheet too because I, I like to have a whole calendar like at a glance, but then I really like to break things down a little bit more like this. So um, I probably could have done one for like a daily deal too, but like I've got my own planner where I end up doing that stuff. So this is a really good way to just kind of outline what you want to be doing each week. Um, I have found too when flexibility is kind of the most important thing and that's really going to be this month is, is that ability to be flexible and adaptable. Um, it really helps if you get a weekly overview um, so that way each day when you're sitting down you can kind of schedule things out based on whatever new things have popped up overnight or like, you know, someone surprises you by dropping in to visit or just anything pops up, you know, maybe for us, it's um, like, we don't get snow a lot here. So 
We want to be flexible enough so when it does snow, we can kind of drop what we're doing and head up to the mountains and go enjoy a snow day. Um, especially if it's in the middle of the week when fewer people are up there because it's great to get it all to ourselves if we can. Um, so that's where um, you could have like that written either like in the notes or like on a week too if you know that like they're anticipating snow in a week or two. Um, you could put it there. Um, so go through, um, look at your rough draft from Tuesday and see what all of that you can go ahead and just kind of transfer onto your calendar. Um, if you don't know what day something's happening, but you know you'd like it to happen a certain week, um, like for us, we're getting our tree next week. I don't know what day yet. So that's just going to go over here on week two. And that way I know that needs to happen week two. Um, so fill that in. However, it works best for you. Um, you've got your brain dump, you've got your priorities list, and you've got your goals. So now all that's left is just to fill it in. Um, and then also, in a, like when I'm done with this basically, and once I get the email all set up for you guys, um, I'm going to be sending out that done for you movement and nourishment plan, which actually has this exact same calendar um, where I've written in what you do for movement and what you do for nourishment each day. So I will say on that one, um, so the movement aspect, I've got a boatload of resources for you um, so that you can, I, let's see, so I have it prog programmed out for you so that you know like which day to do some strength training, which day to do some mobility work, which day to do some cardio, which day to like, pick and choose and I do have rest days scheduled in because those are super important um but what I did is I just put in kind of those guidelines of like today's strength today's cardio today's mobility today's rest and then I've given you a list of workouts and whatnot to choose from for each of those um that way you can pick and choose based on what is best for you um but you're not so overwhelmed you're like uh I don't know what strength training workout to go do like that's not my forte so I gave you some to get you started but that way you have that flexibility for nourishment um it is not a meal plan I'm going to give you that warning right now it's not a meal plan because I am not a nutritionist I cannot prescribe meals to people. Um, so what I did is I really focused in on some of the foundational aspects that I know a lot of people are really lacking um, that really create a lot of negative emotions around food. It makes it very hard for them to enjoy food. Um, it makes it hard for them to feel like they're making healthy choices. So I've got a task in there each day and then and there's, you don't have to do it in order. Like if you see what's written for tomorrow and you're like, I don't really want to do that. That's going to fit better for me later in the week. Like I put every Saturday, I think I put is a day to just sit down and do a quick meal plan. So if you don't want a meal plan on Saturday, if you'd rather do that on Monday, then swap it around, however it works for you. Um, but this way, by the end of the month, you're going to have quite a few really awesome strategies under your belt that are going to help you simplify healthy eating, enjoy healthy eating, and hopefully have relieved some of those guilt and like other negative feelings around eating. Um, and that way too, you have kind of permission to go enjoy the holiday foods that you enjoy. So I hope it will help. This is the first time I've offered a plan like this. So be sure to give me some feedback on how it works for you. Because otherwise, I only do like nutrition type stuff when I'm working one on one with a client because that way, like I know what's going on with that client. So I can make certain recommendations within my scope of practice as a health coach. So um, that's going to be the done for you health, um, movement and nourishment plan. That's going to go out a little later today. You can have a look at that, um, and see if that fits onto your calendar, um, as you do kind of your final refined plan. Um, and you can pick and choose too. Like, don't feel like you have to just do what I've told you to do. That's the whole point of doing this planning process is you determine what is best for you. Like if you are not focusing on movement and nourishment right now um, and you're really focused on the rest and the stress management, then that's where you're going to put your attention. Um, and then if you like um, anything you see on that done for you plan, you can plug that in when you feel like it. So it's just a nice extra resource for you. 
So do that today. And that's, that's it. Then you've got your plan. So I will say I, I put on the page, day five is refining your plan. We're not finalizing your plan exactly because like I said, um, flexibility is, is the key here to really being able to enjoy your holidays and make all of this happen. Um, that's why you've got all of those lists that you can kind of just come back to and be like, all right, I've got this extra time. Which one of these am I going to do to take care of myself? Or which one of these holiday things are we going to do since we have this opening this afternoon or whatever? Um, so it's this plan is a refined plan. It's refined so that you are spending most of your time doing things that help you create your ideal healthy holiday um, that includes taking care of yourself, but it's just refined. It's just a framework that's going to guide you through, and if things get crazy, they get crazy. Um, that's what you did yesterday was you practiced brainstorming some obstacles that you could run into. So hopefully if stuff does go a little haywire, you're already a little prepared and you know how you can shift so that you can still create this holiday um, as close to your vision as possible, right? So let me know how it goes today, guys. I'm very excited to see how it all goes for you. I'm excited to see what you come up with. Um, and then finally, I just wanted to mention really quick that um, right now the Stress-Free Lifestyle Transformation Program is open. Um, this is going to be the last month that I'm offering it because in January I'm going to be um, kind of creating a deeper dive version of it that's going to be more in-depth, deeper dive, more in-depth, there you go. Um, so that one's going to be a three-month program that really helps you get some major results um, while decreasing your stress. So if you have struggled at all with creating this plan this week, um, right now you can get in on that Stress-Free Lifestyle Transformation Program, which is a four-week program, and I will help you review everything you've done this week. If you haven't done anything, that's fine. That's what I sit down with my clients to do, is we sit down, we figure out where you're at, where you want to be over the next four weeks, and then I help you figure out exactly what steps are going to get you there most efficiently. So that one right now, it's going to be the lowest price I'll ever offer it at. I'll probably offer it again a few times next year where we'll just do the four-week plan. Um, but for right now, you get four weeks for $100 with me. So that's a really awesome deal, and I coach you the whole way through. So we sit down, do a goal-setting session, figure out what you need for the next four weeks. I create that plan for you. And that includes a custom workout plan. If you need it, we can do a custom um, nutrition plan in terms of guidelines. I still can't like prescribe foods, but I can give you a lot of really good guidelines and feedback on what you're eating and whether that's optimized or not. Um, and then we implement it. So I'm not just going to like cut you loose. I'm going to be with you for the whole four weeks of implementing that plan. Um, that way, because life does happen, you know it's going to happen, especially with the holidays. I can be there. You can message me basically anytime something comes up and I can help coach you through that and help you find exactly what steps you need to take, exactly how you need to pivot so that you're still achieving your goals by the end of the month. Um, so if you need that kind of help and we will meet every week as well to review how the week has gone, um, reassess how the next week needs to look to make sure that you're still on track. Um, so if you need that kind of help, please reach out, let me know. Um, and I will post the link in there too, where if you want to go ahead and sign up for that program, you can go ahead and get your goal setting session scheduled. Um, finally, um, I did say we were going to do a giveaway. <laughs> so I'm going to give you guys the rest of today. Maybe I'll give you, I'll, let's do Saturday too. So on Sunday, I will go through and see who all has commented on the post, who all has done the work, who all has like participated. Um, I will check the emails too. You can always hit reply to those emails and you will get an entry for every single comment, every single email. Um, so then you will get entered to win basically that goal setting session with me. Um, 
then we'll sit down and we'll go over your plan and see if there's anything that we need to tweak so that you're really set up for success this month. So that's going to be the giveaway. I'll announce that on Sunday then. So anything that you, any comments you make, any emails you respond to between um, what Monday basically, and then Saturday night. So first thing Sunday morning, um, I will announce who gets that giveaway. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know if you need help with anything, give me a shout and that's it for today. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you all have a beautiful day and stay warm <laughs> and then keep an eye out here in a few minutes. If you're on that mailing list, I will be sending out that email with all of your bonuses to say thank you so much for participating in this with me. So have a great day, guys. Bye.